Cześć is how you say hello in Polish, Privet is how you say hello in Russian, and Privet is how you say hello in Ukrainian. So today we're going to be building the Miko Yang MiG-29 Fulcrum fighter jet in 1.51 scale. We have three different liveries from three different countries, Ukraine and Poland for the first time, and Russian. And this video is actually made possible by Owen Bross, so thanks to him for commissioning this build. Check out the link in the description if you guys want to commission. So Owen decided to commission the Polish MiG-29 and the Ukrainian MiG-29, and I just added the Russian MiG-29 since that's design what HyperDog came up with a long time ago. So here's the old Minecraft military force MiG-29, but we definitely needed a redesign because this thing has been uh, featured heavily in the news. So first, let's take a look at the Polish Air Force MiG-29. It comes in this cool livery. It's actually quite confusing to make because there were so many different variants of the livery. So all the grades are painted in different places. So I just built this one based on number 57. You could tell it's Polish because it has the Polish Air Force checkerboard. This is like their marking they use on their aircraft and they also have it on the wings as well. Um, in the front, I've learned this is a PTOT tube and they actually do count when you're doing the length of stuff. So uh, this one is slightly shorter than the older MiG-29, but it should be more accurate. And we got the nose kind of droops down here. We got the landing gear, new landing gear and um, all the Soviet aircraft, they have like green rims. So we did add that there. And then there is these red numbers. They just put it on the side of the air intakes, which are right here. And then we got the back landing gear door opened up and we got some hard point mounts on the wings. So the wing is thinner towards the edge, thicker over here. And then this thing goes down. This part is supposed to be really thin, but you know, it is Minecraft, so it just made it thicker. And there also is a fuel drop tank. You can see it hanging down underneath here. And then in the back, we have these pretty cool um, afterburners right there. So it's like, a, so it's a nice circle shape here. Yeah, it's our first Polish uh, military build, but you know, Poland, they're actually growing their military quite a bit uh, recently. So maybe we'll do more Polish stuff in the future. So next up is the Ukrainian Air Force MiG-29 MU-1. This is in the pixel camouflage livery, and you can also use it for the Ghost of Kiev, a legendary Ukrainian fighter. Uh, it might have probably, it didn't exist. <laughs> Oh, it's definitely a morale boost in the beginning of the war because, you know, Russian Air Force is so scary. So Ukraine fighting back would be like a miracle. So if you support Ukraine, you can definitely uh, build one of these. You have the Ukrainian roundel here. And a cool thing is I was able to add in the Ukrainian trident on uh, the stabilizer. So it's a pretty cool design. Uh, see the bottom camouflage is different because this is a pixel camouflage delivery. They have gray, white, um, dark gray and light gray. So all sorts of things. And of course the cockpit, we have this banner right there. Uh, what else can I talk about it? And then our last uh, one, this one is kind of plain, but it is the Russian Air Force MiG-29. I don't know what exactly which version of it it is, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much replacing the one HyperDog made. Uh, we have the Soviet Red Star. They decide to keep that in the present day Russian Air Force, got that on the wings as well. But like, this is like your plain typical livery. And we got the numbers here. And um, yeah, not much uh, different there. Although there is a future like SMT MiG-29, but we're just building some regular ones. And before we get on to the tutorial, I would just like to let you guys know that commissions are super important for the future of this channel because I probably will stop doing tutorials soon. And you guys keep asking for stuff, but if you guys really want to support the channel, please consider doing a commission. But anyways, let's get started. So these MiGs actually share a similar base. So I'm going to be building, you know, the landing gear first. They're all going to be the same. So the dimensions are going to be 26 blocks long, a wingspan of 17 blocks and seven blocks tall. All right, so for the first step, we're gonna add in the landing gear wheel. That's just a polished blocks and brick. Leave in front, fence, iron trap door, skip block here, a chain, smooth stone slab, iron trap door underneath, and then three smooth stone slabs underneath, and then four smooth stone at the top. And a side stairs facing backwards, and there is polished blocks of button underneath here. And this is actually the fuel drop tank. So after that, we'll add in a warp button to the side of the landing gear wheels, both sides, 
And we're we'll also going to add in this andesite stairs upside down and then smooth stone uh, five blocks here, then two slabs, two iron trap doors, and then two dark oak trap doors. And then iron trap door to the side. And if you can't do this, you can simply use a birch trap door, close it up on the side right there. Here's how it looks like the other side. So after that, we're going to add in this landing gear to the side of that trap door, just a birch fence. Polish black stone, brick block, and then warp button to the side of it, both sides like that. And yeah, this is going to be our base model, and this is where we're going to split off the tutorial. Alright, so first is the Polish Air Force version. So uh, yeah, we have our base model here, and we're just going to be building a layer on top of it. So on top of the landing gear, you know, we just add another fence here. Iron trap door, this one's on the bottom end, uh, birch fence gate up here. We'll add in smooth stone slab, and then four of these polished deep slate slabs. Dark oak trap door at the edge, and this one at the side of this. There also is this polished andesite on this side. The other side is going to be smooth stone block. Or smooth, smooth stone slabs, four blocks long here, while the other side's three blocks long there. Iron trap door, uh, dark oak sign, like that. Uh, and then we'll add in iron trap doors here. Upside down, andesite stairs, both sides. Smooth stone slab right there, smooth stone block there. And that sort of goes all the way to the back. So this part here is actually uh, 10 blocks long and then a slab right there. And then back over here, you know, <laughs> just adding the rest of the landing gear section. And don't forget to add in these numbers on the side of the air intakes. And then on top, these parts over here, they're just slabs, so we just add in like Three here, skip to two here, and then two andesite stairs upside down, and two slabs here in the back. And we'll just uh, build in the back afterburners like this. And then build um, andesite stairs three blocks long upside down. Another one here, dangly three blocks long as well, and then our iron trap doors for the rest. And uh, I could just pause like that so you guys can just build it exactly how you see it right there. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this layer. Then for the next layer, we're going to add in to the tip part, uh, daylight detector, two chains, and then the nose part like this. And then we'll build up carpet on top. So yeah, I could just pause the video right there. <laughs> so you guys can capture the pattern. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty much it for that side. And now this side, we'll just build more on top of the cockpit. You know, trap door slabs, black concrete, and all of this. We'll add in the banners um, soon. Then add in the stabilizer here as well. And here's what it looks like on the other side. All right, so now for the banners, there's going to be one for the cockpit and one for the stabilizer. So this one, the cockpit, that is pretty easy. We'll just go inside the loom, black banner, gray dye. We want to line across the middle horizontally, put it back inside. And then we want to fill in the bottom half of it, put it back at the side, and then gray diagonal line going towards the front. So it looks like this. And we'll just place that one right there and the opposite one on the other side. And for the checkerboard banner, that's going to be a white banner. All right, so first we want white banner, red dye, fill in the left-hand column, put it back at the side. And then white dye, and that's going to go across the top row of this, so I think right there, put it back inside, then white dye, I mean red dye on the upper corner like this, and then we want gray dye, and we want to fill in the bottom part, bottom half of it. I think that should be it for the banner, so let me see if I did it right, if these two things are the same, yeah. We'll just place that on there, and put an, another one here on the other side. It is the same exact banner, we didn't even switch it. <laughs> All right, and then for the last step, it's easy. You just add in a carpet on top of this. And we'll add in the rest of the stabilizer. It should look like this. And yeah, that's how you make the Polish Polski uh, MiG-29A in Minecraft. They have all sorts of weird liveries. They put like Air Force pilots on the stabilizer for decoration, but that is a different livery. All right, so now let's build a Ukrainian one, the Ghost of Kiev. So for this pixel camouflage livery, what we're gonna do, uh, let's start building it. So we'll just, again, build on landing gear, birch fence here, you know, skip a block, birch fence gate here, 
Smooth stone slab, three blocks long, two andesite slabs, spruce trap door, birch sign to the sides of it, both sides. And this will be dark oak trap door. This one's uh, iron trap door. It's also a polished andesite slab here. Then three smooth stone slabs. The other side has four. Then we'll add in andesite stairs upside down. Smooth stone slab here, smooth stone block there. And that part is going to be 10 blocks long and then slab at the back. Then we'll build in the afterburner here, just polished black stone brick blocks. Uh, dark oak trap doors around it like this. This one goes on the inside part. Then smooth stone slab here, two andesite stairs upside down. Two slabs here, skip two blocks, three here, then add a landing gear. And don't forget to add in these numbers to the side of the air intake. Um, and then for the wing part, it's just these are slabs, so five here. And then one here, and then these are going to be andesite stairs upside down, three, and then three. And then here's what it looks like in the back. And then we want that bamboo trap door here for the round dill. Iron trap doors for the rest. The back, some iron trap doors here as well. And then the other side, the wing is pretty much the same thing, just the other way around. All right, so for the next step, we're just adding in to the nose part, you know, day detector, um, chains here. And so stairs slab in the rest of it. And I could just uh, fly over, give you an overhead view of it so you guys can copy all the design, all the carpets. And then don't forget the button on this part here. And then here's what it looks like in the back part. These are just slabs and then, you know, iron trap doors going along like this. And this part over here is actually going to be snow. This is three layers tall. So, you know, one, two, three right here. Um, other side as well, and then this is just smooth quartz like that. All right, so for the next step, we'll add in more to the cockpit pair, <laughs> cockpit area like this, and then this part uses snow as well. This is three layers, and this part is one layer. Then um, chop door there, button, and add in stabilizer here as well. Other side's different, and for this part, we want to add in uh, the window cockpit pillar. It's like the same thing as the other one. So go inside that loom, black banner, light gray dye, line horizontally across, and then fill in the bottom part, light gray, and then we want a diagonal line going across to the front part. That's how you make it, and we're just going to place that in the front. All right, so after you do that, uh, the last step, you know, uh, build in the rest of the stabilizer should be like this block here and then these blocks here and then we want to add in this Ukrainian trident it's a pretty cool design I found it on like planet minecraft all right so first we want to go inside loom um, blue light blue banner and we want yellow on the upper half of it put it back inside and then we want light blue dye put it back inside and then we want to have um, triangle going down it's an inverted chevron and then light blue dye, we want to have a round bill here in the middle, put it back inside. And then yellow dye, we want to make a cross with it, put it back inside. And then light blue dye, we want to make a border around it. Then we got our sh trident logo. And then last step, you want to make a copy of this and make two of them. So one of them is going to be gray, the other one's going to be white. So we just want the gray part the bottom like this. So that's how you make the Ukrainian trident and the other one's white. So you just put one per stabilizer. So this part is gray, the other one is white. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the Ukrainian Ghost of Kiev MiG-29. All right, now we're gonna be building the Russian MiG-29. This is the easiest livery because it doesn't really have that much camouflage at all. All right, so first off, moving on from the base model, we'll add in a birch fence gate here, a birch fence here, skip block fence gate, and then Three smooth uh, stone slabs, birch fence, birch sign to the sides of it, two andesite slabs, and a dark oak trap door. And then to the side, uh, iron trap door here, polished andesite slab, and then three smooth stone slabs. Other side has four, three iron trap doors here, and then three smooth stone slabs, another stone slab here, two here, then two here, two here. Two andesite stairs and the two smooth uh, stone slabs in the back. Um, actually, we need to connect this area here. So that's going to be one, 
smooth uh, stone slab, and then there's going to be 10 smooth stone blocks there, and then slabbing at the back. We'll make the afterburners here, just dark oak trap doors around like this. And then we'll add in to the wing part, there's going to be uh, five of these slabs here, then iron trap doors. This part is going to be three in the side stairs, and then another three over here. And uh, yeah, I could pause it right there so you guys can build it. And um, yeah, the other side's pretty similar. And yeah, don't forget to add in these numbers things on the side of the, of the, of the air intakes. All right, so after you've done that step, the next step will build more on top of the nose. So two chains like that. The button here, then stairs, get the corner there, carpets, on top, stone brick slabs, and I could pause so you guys can build it exactly how uh, it is built. All right, after that, we're gonna be building even more on top. You know, build the cockpit. It's like a black carpet on top of this part. And for this window thing, it is the same design as this one. So go inside that loom, black banner, light gray dye, line horizontally across, and then fill in the bottom part, light gray. And then we want a diagonal line going across to the front part. That's how you make it. And you'll just build that in the front there, other side. And then the stabilizer with the buttons like this. All right. All right, so then for the last step, we'll finish off the rest of the stabilizers, the top of it, add in the button in the back. And we also want this Soviet red star. There's also buttons underneath here. All right, so to make this Soviet red star. All right, so first we'll go inside the loom. We want red banner, light gray dye, and we want to make a horizontal line with it, put it back inside. Then we're going to add in a red dye, and we also want this... Uh, flower charge pattern, put it back inside. Then we're gonna add light gray dye and we're gonna make this go on the top uh, row like this, put it back inside. And then we wanna add red dye. We wanna make a rhombus um, diamond shape like that. Put it back inside. Then we want light gray dye and we wanna have a chevron. Uh, that's gonna be from the bottom there. Put it back inside and then light gray dye that's gonna be in the bottom row like this. Um, so yeah, that's how you make the Soviet Red Star, and you just put that on the stabilizer. So yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to make the MiG-29 in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit the like button down below. Thanks again to Owen Bros for commissioning this build. If you guys want a commission, check out the link in the description. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.